Today we're going to be installing carbon fiber wheel extenders on a C7 from Extreme Online Store. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott and today we're going to be installing carbon fiber wheel extensions on a Grand Sport. Now you this, these wheel extenders are exactly the same on a Grand Sport as it is on a C7. Um, and uh, Extreme Online Store has just now come out with a carbon fiber uh, wheel extender. So as you can see here, hopefully the camera will pick it up. If not, you'll be able to see it as I'm taking it off. Um, that the customer didn't like how it actually looked uh, just with the basic black. So he ended up having this wrapped because they didn't have these then. So these were wrapped in carbon fiber, but these are still the factory ones. So Extreme Online has come out with a carbon fiber. Um, as you can see, it's not a hydro dip. It is real carbon fiber. And uh, I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and take, and, uh, take these off and put these on. Alright, so we're going to jump into the video now. It will be a real short video, but uh, this way you'll know exactly how to do it. Okay? So alright guys, we are right here at the wheel well here, and there's not a lot of tools you're going to need. Uh, one, I've got my, my uh, driver here. It's got a 7 millimeter uh, socket on it, as well as I've got a 15 Torx on a, uh, on a, a screwdriver. Uh, you could use it on the with the other driver. I just happen to have it this way, and you may need a little pry tool to help you remove this, and or be able to. Um, there's a little tab that goes in right here, and sometimes you have to adjust that, so it makes it a little bit easier on your fingers. Um, <clears throat> before we get started, let me grab the the other new unit, and let me show you here what I did. Um, you can see that I've added some uh, two-sided stick tape right here, and right here, and then I've also done it down here in this channel. Now, it, you don't have to do that, okay, um, but it will make it where it seats a little bit tighter. Um, the factory one doesn't have that. They do have this sticky here and here, but they don't have it down this channel and I've seen it where it just doesn't stick to the fender. So I've had to do a lot of repairs in the past, so I just automatically do it. So um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna jump over here. We're gonna end up removing these three screws here, as well as the one seven millimeter screw right here, and then we'll be able to start to pull this, uh, pull this off, and then we'll be able to just go ahead and reverse the process, okay? So we're gonna get started right now. We're gonna go ahead I'm going to try to keep my head out of the way. I don't know if I do such a very good job, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove these 15 Torx here. I think the camera's picking all this up, so I think we're good. It's kind of a uh, kind of cramped quarters. You also notice I turned the wheel, and um, and I'm only doing this on the lift. Uh, to be able to try to get the better angle on the camera so I can get down and out of your way, but you could do this on the ground. So we're going to pull those screws out. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull that other screw out at the bottom here. Alright. Now, the, you'll see here in a second when I remove this, the that bottom 7mm screw is used to hold this piece in. You can see how easy that comes off, right? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put that screw right back in because it is not needed on the new piece. It doesn't have that little latch, so, or the little little clip hole. So I'm just gonna put that screw back in so we don't have to deal with it. All right, so now I'm gonna kind of move the camera up here so it's a little more, the more you can see me a little bit better. Um, not really so much me. I don't know. It doesn't really want to see. You don't want to see much of me. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to move the can, the light kind of here off to the side a little bit so we can. Hopefully, you can still see it. You can. And I'm just going to pull this down. Now, this, like I was saying, it has some tape, has some two-sided stick tape. It also has a little 
this is a transition. You can see right here how this piece, this piece right here, is actually on the outside edge of the trim or the wheel liner. But at this point, it actually tucks into with a tab into the back side. You can see right here that you can see that tab. Okay. Uh, here in a minute, I'm going to explain to you this tab on these new carbon fiber ones is very stiff. They don't flex like this one does, so they are a nightmare to get in there. Uh, that little tab actually goes into this hole and then it goes up into a little piece of recess up in the fender. So you want to make sure that you'll be able to get that in there. So we're just going to pull this loose and I'm just pull it slow. You'll the the two sided stick tape will will come loose. It's also tucked up inside the wheel liner, like I was saying. Okay, so we're just going to pull that down like so. Now, let me move the camera around just a little bit over here. See if I can get that. All right. So now you can see here it's still it's totally loose except there is a clip right here just like that you see that little clip you just pull it down and it comes out so now what we're going to do let me turn the camera back around here be my own cameraman today but let me let me show you here so remember we were talking about the this two-side stick tape well here's the two-side stick tape here and here just like we've i've put back on on the new one Okay, but you notice there isn't any two side stick tape down here in this channel. Okay, so I put that in just to make sure that it's going to seal nice and pretty up against this fender well. Okay, because they do tend to want to move. The reason behind that is a couple things. Uh, one, just to you know that there's a little bit of little bit of movement going on there. But the main purpose, let me set this down, and I'll show you um is right here okay it's right let's see if i can get there this one's actually pretty good but do you see the difference in the gap between right here and there this fender doesn't meet perfect so on some cars i've actually seen this be a lot worse and it'd be a bigger gap so you've got to try to make up that so so all that's all that tape is for is just for that Okay, so now what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to set the camera back down. Okay, and I'm going to clean out this upper inner wheel well here to make sure it looks like I got lucky on this side. There's almost no tape residual at all, um, but there is some here. So you can just kind of use your hand and, and roll the tape off. This they, The factory uses some sort of a... A black tape that it does flex a little bit so um, you can roll it off and you'll see what I'm talking about here in just a second so you can see it's just a like a black black tape here and so I just roll it off and you know I'm just dropping it on the ground right now I'll clean it up later but it's um you just get all of that off and then go back with it um, with some alcohol and clean it up Okay, so this isn't super hard getting it prepped. Now, um, there we go, it's just about off now. So I'll get some alcohol in here in just a second and we'll clean it off. And then we can go ahead and we can put the new one back on. Okay, so now all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take an alcohol wipe pad here. Okay, and we're just gonna wipe the inside of that wheel well. Making sure that we get it clean. Okay, so now while that's doing its thing, I'm gonna explain something to you here. Okay, so this is the new piece. And you can see that we've got a, remember we took a clip off right here. We've got to take the little clip that was on the other one. We have to transfer it onto this part and then then we'll have it. Then at that point we'll be able to, to start to guide this. And you also see that there's two holes right here. There's two guide pins that are they're located right here in the fender. So if you get those dialed in you'll be able to get that 
it'll fit both directions perfectly. Okay, so you wanna make sure that you get this part set first. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set this one down. I'm gonna use my pry tool to take this clip off, as you can see right here. Okay, you probably can do this with your fingers too, but I don't wanna, you know, these things are sharp and I don't wanna cut myself, so. We've got our clip here. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put it back on this tab right here. I think I've got it in the camera here, you can see. Let's go put that guy right there like so. See that? All right, so now what we need to do is we've gotta take our tape loose, which you guys always know that's not my favorite thing in the world. So we'll go ahead and take it off. All right, so now we got them off. So now what we wanna do, remember what we wanna do, we wanna take our two guide pins, our two guide holes, and we wanna go into our guide pins right here, okay? So now once you get those set, so now what I'm doing underneath is I'm, a, I'm actually just pulling back the wheel well just a little bit. Okay, so let me see if I can do this one-handed. I'm gonna pull the wheel well down. Okay, and then we'll end up, we'll walk the wheel well around once we get our guide pins seated here. Okay. There's our guide pins right there. You'll be able to feel it, you'll be able to see it. The camera's not gonna be able to show you this. I, I'm sorry about that part of it, guys. But that will line up, okay, just like that. Then at that point, you're literally going to move this right over and you're gonna put that in the slot and then the tape is gonna tuck it to the fender. Okay, just like that. Now, your fun one, your fun part here lies right here. Okay, and so once you get this done, you may have to Let's see if I can get this so you can see. I'm not sure if my hands are in the way or not, but we were talking about this as being a transition. And there's a there's a little, I don't know what you would call it, a little recess that's up there. And you can see it's a flat area that, that the tab of the, of the um, extender actually has to sit up and above it. If it just, if you just push it in there, it's not gonna seat right. So, um, a lot of times what you'll have to do is now that we have this lined up pretty much where it needs to go underneath here, okay, we can pull the liner down and pull the wheel well and pull this all apart here pretty much. Bear with me a minute. Don't. We're gonna put that tab up in there and make sure. God, I wish you could see this. Let me see if I can get a camera in here to be able to see it. Let's see. Let me see here. Kind of tough to be able to see, guys, but let me see if I can get a camera angle in here. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna grab the camera really fast. And I'm gonna try to show you what I'm talking about. There we go. You see that? So the black, that black tip is sitting up on top of that recess. If it doesn't sit up there like that, then this fender is, this fender extension is not gonna fit. Okay, well, let's get the camera back over here. There we go. Bring it back up a little bit and over. All right, so now that we got that, so we got our guides in here, got that sitting where it belongs. Now we can let the wheel liner relax, and now we can start to pull everything into place. Okay, and the tape will hold it right where it needs to go, and then we can start to tuck this around and 
fit up to the fender. Okay. There we go. All right. So now the only thing we really have to do, we've just got to get, got to get the fender to line up in here like that, and then we take our screws, our three screws here, or three torques. I think you guys can see this down here. Let's get this over here. All right. They should line up where they belong. Now, like I was saying, guys, this there's a lot, there's a lot of different angles that are going on here and so you've got to get you got to get it just right okay so there's one we'll snuck that up a little bit once you get one of these pretty much you're you're home free you just got so like I was saying it's not this isn't a hard job it's just a little bit of time consuming and you have to be able to things are, you know you're dealing with multiple angles and things like that because it's going in and out of the wheel well or, uh, the wheel liner and so you've got you just don't want to like over stress it because it is carbon fiber and you could crack it it's not just flexible plastic, so. Oh. All right, so there's that. And like I said, we don't use that bottom screw. All right, guys, this is what you got. You can see right there. So guys, hopefully you found this video helpful and informative. You can see that it was real simple to install these and you can install them on the ground. So you don't have to have a lift to do it. Uh, it's literally four screws and some uh, self stick tape and that's about it. So it's not super hard to do, just a little bit of time. So if you're in the market uh, for getting some new, new uh, carbon fiber wheel well extensions, you don't have to look any further. You can go to Extreme Online Store and they'll be able to help you out. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put that information right here on the screen. And um, that's about it, guys. I just want to thank you guys for watching today. Um, if you guys have not already subscribed, I ask you this all the time. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and hit that bell so you'll be alerted of all of our uploads. If you guys are needing any of these, this type of stuff that you see me install and you need it installed, uh, be sure and reach out to me. I'll put that information right here on the screen. I can get you in. We'll get you taken care of. But boy, I can't talk today. So anyway, uh, guys, thanks again for watching, and we'll talk to you later.